Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And in this week's episode, we are bringing our American Heartland Tour 2020 to the land of Lincoln in central Illinois. We're going to explore everything Abraham Lincoln around this area. So we'd be honored if you came along for the ride. Stay tuned. Lincoln's New Salem State Historic Site is a reconstruction of the former village of New Salem in Menard County, Illinois, 22 driving miles northwest of the state capital of Springfield. It's here that Abraham Lincoln lived in his 20s, from 1831 until 1837. The future U.S. president made his living in this village as a boatman, soldier in the Black Hawk War, general store owner, postmaster, surveyor, and rail splitter and was first elected to the Illinois General Assembly. The village was generally abandoned around 1840, as other towns developed nearby. During its short existence, the village was home to anywhere from 20 to 25 families at a time. New Salem was not a small farm village, but instead a commercial village full of young businessmen and craftsmen trying to start a new life on the frontier. After Lincoln's death in 1865, Historians and biographers collected the memories, documents, and plans of the village from former residents and neighbors of Lincoln. William Randolph Hearst purchased the land in 1906 and deeded it to the Old Salem Chautauqua Association, which in 1919 gifted the land to the state of Illinois. Two years later, a state park opened on the village site to commemorate Lincoln in the frontier history of Illinois. In the 1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps built this historic recreation of New Salem based on its original foundations. The cabins, shops, and businesses here are furnished by period implements, objects, and furniture, with many acquired from area farms and homes. During normal times, you can tour the building interiors, greeted by a number of volunteers in period costume. However, with COVID-19, these are not normal times, and we can only enjoy strolling through the village. So we're actually staying right here in the campground right at the State Historic Site. It's only about a half mile's walk from that beautiful village at New Salem. Now this entire campground is first come first served. There's no way to make a reservation. There are 100 sites with electricity for RVs and there are 100 sites without electricity best served to tent campers. Those tent sites cost $10 per night. The electrified sites cost $20 per night and on holidays they cost $30 per night. There are water hydrants scattered throughout the park, but they're in a really weird spot. They're kind of in the center of the loops. If this place were busy, you'd almost have to climb over someone else's camper to go get water. 
However, if our experience is any indication, you're not going to have a problem. We've had this park practically to ourselves all week. I don't think that we've ever seen a state park campground this empty. Abraham Lincoln served four successive terms in the Illinois General Assembly in the nearby state capital of Springfield from 1834 until 1842, before being elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1846. Not far from the Illinois State Capitol building, Lincoln Home National Historic Site preserves the home and an historic district where Abraham Lincoln lived from 1844 to 1861, before becoming the 16th President of the United States. The Presidential Memorial includes the four blocks surrounding the home and a visitor center. Again, in normal times, several of these buildings are open to tour the interior. The historic house at 413 South 8th Street, at the corner of Jackson Street, was bought by Lincoln and his wife in 1844. It was the only home that Lincoln ever owned. Three of their four children were born there, and one, Eddie, died there. The house contains 12 rooms spread over two floors. Lincoln's son, Robert Todd Lincoln, donated the family home to the state of Illinois in 1887, under the condition that it would forever be well maintained and open to the public at no charge.
Springfield is also the home to the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, which documents the life of the 16th U.S. President and the course of the American Civil War. The museum contains life-size dioramas of Lincoln's boyhood home, areas of the White House, the Presidential Box at Ford's Theater, and the settings of key events in Lincoln's life, as well as pictures, artifacts, and other memorabilia, including the original handwritten Gettysburg Address and a signed Emancipation Proclamation. The Springfield Depot was constructed by the Great Western Railroad in 1852. It was from here that Lincoln left the city for his 1861 inauguration after delivering his bittersweet farewell address to Springfield. The Lincoln Tomb in Springfield's Oak Ridge Cemetery is the final resting place of our 16th president. Abraham Lincoln, his wife Mary Todd Lincoln, and three of their four sons are all buried here. So we really hope that you've enjoyed exploring everything Abraham Lincoln here with us in central Illinois as much as we did. If you like this video, it's extremely important to give us a big thumbs up down below. Also down below, you'll find the comments section. That's where we love to hear from you after each and every episode of Grand Adventure that we air every Wednesday evening. So this is the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. We'd also be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media, because coming up next week, we are taking our American Heartland Tour 2020 to beautiful Door County, Wisconsin. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.